Hello, my name is Ector. Welcome back to Stoneblock. How's everyone doing? Hope you're all doing well and having a grand old day. Last episode, we got our serious, uh, like, Inferium stuff on, and we got our Ultimate Furnace, which just, like, it goes through stuff so fast, so ridiculously fast, it is, um, it's quite amazing. So, what we're going to be doing uh, today is, well, we're going to make use of that, so we're going to get rid of all of this sort of stuff here, like change all of this up because it's a little bit of a mess it's a bit of a mess and we we can do better and what i want to do what i would like to do is get a builder going and can i oh i cannot okay uh have i got any bricks anywhere i sort of thought uh what about okay let's have a look see let's what let's see what we have have we got any of these no oh man i, I was certain we had some Okay, so I need, I need buckets, I need buckets, I need buckets, let's make some, let's make some, let's make some clay. Uh, I need dust, I think, is it dust? Yes it is, there we go. So I want to make a builder and we're going to power it with all of our crazy, <laughs> all of our ridiculously insane and crazy um, uh, spectre coils. We have almost four stacks of them. Which is amazing. That's like a lot of power right there. So we're gonna we're gonna do that, set up that, and then use our ultimate furnace to smelt basically anything that needs smelting. And that will be going so fast. And this is powered by coal. And we have so much coal because of our chickens. So all of that is going. That is still going. And um, if we have a look, we've got now 5.4 million. And I can't imagine we'll need that much more of it. Uh, where's the sink? There it is. That. Uh, I think I need to use this one. Probably only need one bucket, really. There we go. Bam. Let's do this quickly. Uh, let's get four of these. There we go. I wish there was a better way of getting clay. I mean, I know I could set this up to do that, but hopefully we might get some with the old builder. Uh, there we go. That's that. Now, I need... We need to break this, don't we? Basically. Basically. There we go. Let's put this in here. Bam! Look at that. Look at how quick that was. Quite amazing. Right, so... If we do this now, there we go, we get four bricks, excellent stuff. So the builder, if people don't know about the RF Tools Builder, it's it's a it's a weird name because you don't you can't you, you can obviously give it the name, you can build with it, but you can also you can also use it as a quarry. Um and that's what we're gonna be doing. So quarry shape I think it's the now then. Now then, now then. I don't usually do any of this stuff, but we could, we could try and do that. Um, and let's have a, a gander at clearing quarry, clearing silk quarry. Yeah. So I think we just need one of these, and I need to decide whether getting the silk touch quarry, obviously, or the fortune quarry, and just fortune everything immediately. Which sort of saves us having to do it on this side with the silk touch quarry. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's... I mean, they're both fairly easy stuff to get. Let's make one of these first. So, we need a diamond pickaxe. And diamond shovel. There we go. And then uh, we need a shape card. Ah, uh, <laughs> we need... Okay, so a bit more paper and more clay which is really irritating. Uh, I put the other clay in here. There we go. Another bit of clay. There we go. We got another four. Come on. Man, my, my frames are dropping a little bit, and I'm thinking it's probably, it's probably all of this. So let's actually turn this off. I don't need this on right now. There we go. That's better. That's better. I don't need that on right now. Um, so shape card. Shape card. Shape card. Shape. There we go. Let's do that. You. There we go. And shape card quarry. Bam. Okay. So I've got that and that. So now for powering it. Obviously 
I want to use the uh, the spectre coils, and I know mechanism. Mechanism has these cables, universal cables, and I keep forgetting mechanism is in this pack. Even though I literally made the atomic disassembler and I've been using it, I keep forgetting that it's in the pack because I keep thinking this of this as an FTB pack, and generally uh, Feed the Beast doesn't include mechanism. Uh, so where are the cables? But these are mechanical. Ah. Advanced Universal Cable, Elite Universal Cable. So that's made of advanced stuff. Adv ah, so we need some steel. Uh, and steel we can make... Coal and iron. Is that the only way to make it? Looks like it. Co coal and iron. Yeah, basically. That seems to be the best way to make it, maybe. Uh, obviously the Blast Furnace, but the Blast Furnace is so slow. Um... Iron and yeah, more coal. Can you actually just put coal in rather than having to pulverize it? It doesn't look like it and that. Okay, so I'm going to have to probably make some steel because I think we'll just power it using uh, a few of these cables. We'll just attach some cables because basically the builder pretty much goes as fast as energy you can give it. Uh, the more energy you give it, the faster it pretty much goes. So I'm going to do that now because some things, obviously, we might want to fortune or... A, you know, pulverize and do it that way. And I, yeah, I don't know whether, I still can't decide whether to do Silt Touch or Fortune. But anyway, regardless, we'll want to, um, we'll want to put some stuff through, uh, here, but some stuff we'll want, we'll probably want to pulverize beforehand. And this is where mechanism comes in handy again. And it's got the smelting factory. So we're going to make ourselves an elite smelting factory. Uh, and I've got some stuff on me, as you can see here, which should allow us to do that. So let's try and... So energy... Ah, uh, we need one of these first. I can't remember what I've literally made already. Uh, an energizer. So we need steel casing. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Uh, no, make that first. There we go, Hector. Come on. Uh, so basic smelting factory. What have I not got now? I just made that, didn't I? <laughs> did I just not make the smelter? Yes. Yes, I did. There it is. There it is. Okay, so now advanced smelting factory. So I think we need a couple of these. One, two. There we go. Uh, advanced. Thank you very much. And now elite. No, that's not elite. That's the elite one. I think we need a couple of these. Oh. Okay, I need two more of these. One, two. There we go. One, two. Excellent. And that should do it. Bam. And this thing is excellent because if you just put it down, look, it can handle like a lot of different drops at the same time. Now these can up these can upgrade as well. And you can see all the different types of upgrades that you can put here. So speed, energy, and muffling. All of the mechanism um, things, you can maybe hear it. No, this is done now. There we go. We've got some more enriched house. But all of the mechanism machines are quite loud to begin with. So I'm going to get some upgrades for this. Uh, and then we're going to set up. Um, oh, have I got... Oh, I've got a step up because of the armor. Ah, okay. I didn't actually notice. So we're going to set it up in our um, mining dimension, basically. We're going to set up a huge quarry there. Um, so I'm going to make some more steel, and I'm going to make a, uh, well, I think that's it, more steel. So I've been doing a lot of things. Uh, I've set up some black hole units ready uh, to place our builder down, because this is going to go crazy. So I've got one for sand and dirt. We might as well save it, and I've got another one for cobble, uh, which I'm going to put here. Uh, and I've put these cobblestone generators just so, well, you never know when you need cobble. Uh, I ended up choosing the fortune quarry. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how that does. And then I've got that one. No, this one empty and this one empty. I don't know if we'll need it. And up here, if we come here, oh, look at this. Everything has sort of gone and looks a little bit weird. So I will need to, we'll do some more on this. I do want to move all of this. I don't think I actually, don't think I actually need this one here anymore. Uh, ah, so is that actually... No, I'm going to have to move this, I think, with packing tape or something like that. Have we got a chest transporter? I don't know. 
Let's have a look. Uh, not in here. Let's maybe have a look in my bag of goodies. Yes, we do. We've got a couple. I don't know if we can move these. Oh, we totally can. Let's just shove that there and that there. And then you can go over there as well for now. Uh, and I think that's, yeah, that's that. Okay. We'll sort that out in a second. In fact, we can maybe just do that. Uh, so we have basically this here. That actually doesn't need to be here anymore. There we go. We could hook that up to that. That might not be a bad thing, using one of those. One of, well, like the um, the bonsai for wood, perhaps. That's not a that's not a bad idea, one of the black hole units. I might set up and do that, and this is just where I've put, like, a lot of stuff. I've hidden a lot of stuff down here, uh, and it's sort of continued all of these. Um, but now I've started using mechanism cables instead. So what we need to do now is sort of... I'm going to go set up our quarry in the mining world, and then I need to come back. And basically, I need to set up our ultimate furnace and smelting elite smelting factory. And I have upgraded this, I'll show you, uh, over here. So energy, you can put eight, eight upgrades, and these basically increase energy efficiency and capacity of the machinery. Highly... Um, encourage you to do that if you do speed as well because look we've got eight speed things and the effect so it's 10 times faster but obviously it will take more power so you need that and then i've put the muffling four mufflings which means it is quiet so this should hopefully that and in combination with that should should do a lot of damage to whatever the builder can basically do and whatever it can't, I'm hoping will go into here. I do need to make some more storage discs because these are getting full now. And that's why I had those as well. So everything's going well. I'm going to set up the quarry now. We won't turn it on yet because I don't have anything that will... Yeah, <laughs> I don't have anything that basically can handle uh, all of this going in here. So yeah, need to do that first though. So let's go set it up. Look at this madness. Look at... <laughs> <laughs> it looks bonkers. And I know I could probably have done this in the overworld and then, you know, just filtered the energy over here. But I thought it'd be fun to just have like a really weird setup for all of this. So I've got loads of spectacles and I don't know how how this is going to keep up with all of this. So what I've done, what you do is for the shape card, you uh, shift click it on here first and then you shift click like one corner so i did right down there and then i went over there and like 200 blocks away 200 200 ish and clicked like the top block and that gives you a shape basically and allows you if you shift click it like that you can you can actually um i think yeah there you go you can actually do it like this basically um you can sort of there you go, three, what, is that three million blocks? I think so, yeah, three million blocks. So that should be quite good. So you can actually edit it like this, but I find it easier to just shift-click the corners and set it that way. So let's just see how how crazy this is. Okay, well, that's already full. Uh, and that, that kept up with that, like, pretty, pretty easily. What have we got here? Um... I'm just wondering what else I might need to make black hole units for. So limestone, I think. Probably gravel, in fact, as well. And and then probably one each for like these. And maybe basalt as well and marble. So marble. Let's just take these out like that. Marble. And then and then the three like Minecraft things. I think I'm going to make black hole units for each of these just because it keeps them out of the system then because we'll get a lot of these and we won't really process them. So that's what I'm going to do now. We're getting some forestry stuff as well. And, and then we'll set up the elite smelting factory along with our ultimate furnace. So I finally got this set up. It's taken me so long to figure out a decent way of doing this. And it's not actually that decent. But I, for whatever reason, this enriching factory was giving me an issue. Now, you might notice that it is an enriching factory. I made a smelting factory. Of course, I didn't need that because that is the smelting factory. So <laughs> that wasn't exactly right. Um... So this is going through here. So what I've got, if we come down here, 
Uh, this is the chest that will basically be used to uh, for the quarry. So all of this will go straight into here, straight into our system. Then from there, what we have is an exporter with all of these things and then that on. Going into this chest here, then that gets put into here. Now, I, I think what I could do, uh, eject is on. No, maybe not then. It's weird. I'm not used to mechanism machines, so I'm sort of, I was trying to figure them out, but they have an auto eject, but not, it seems, input. So that's why I've got this chest here as like a buffer. So it puts everything in here, then everything gets shot into here. Then what I had initially was just a conduit connecting uh, these two here. But for whatever reason, it wasn't working. Even though I tested it on like other mechanism machines, I could not get it to work to just output it onto the side, uh, no matter what I did on here. So I then found out that it had auto eject. So I'll put this chest here as a buffer. And then from here, it just goes here. And then there we've got another buffer as a chest. And then if we go around all the mess here, and um, basically we have another importer with a stack upgrade and whatnot. So basically, that is how I've got this set up uh, right now. I've also down here, as I said I would, I've got another few of these bad boys with, you know, differing amounts. So, so let us go to uh, the mining dimension. There we go. Here we are. Let us turn this on. Bam. There we go. So that is all going in. So obviously it will take a little bit of time. Oh. Is that now doing stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. It is totally doing stuff. Now the bees. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of bees. So how does this work then? Because that emptied at one point. So it's basically only... It's not... This is not enough room... Or no usable storage. So I need to make that faster. I need to... Wow. I need to put the importing a lot faster. Yeah, look at that. Uh, because this is not keeping up. Now, what is keeping up? Uh, the power. Power is totally keeping up. Look at all of this. Uh, that is totally keeping up with all of that, which is quite rather excellent. Um, so I need to find a way to import even faster. I've got more external storage. That's not enough. Yeah, because this is, it's just taking that rather than everything. Okay, fine, I can do that. So, look at this, look at how fast that is going now. So I've got three importers on here that are all maxed out with a stack upgrade and three speed upgrades. I actually added more power to the RF tools builder as well in the same manner that we did earlier. Uh, so just beefed it up and it is now, it's not running out of power. So that is amazing. So this is how fast we are getting items at the moment and if we come over here uh, with a little bit of lag um, you can see basically things come in so a fair amount comes in and it just all gets you know it just gets smashed to bits and then put into here and this just just this just canes it through and that just that one chicken I've got 16 I mean you can see look at that <laughs> it's got so much uh, and actually the the only one thing right now that I need to do is put some more speed upgrades in this conduit here because that is the only thing that is actually slowing this down right now and this would be going through a lot quicker if I could get items into here quicker and out again so I will do that I just I don't have any electrical steel anymore but you can see this is just doing its thing i love it i love the enriching factory um yeah so we should i mean we should we should be seeing a lot of stuff now look at that six and a half k of all of those and if they've done this right this should also be going in here uh, so let's check this and make sure uh oh dear uh ah have i oh man Oh, that, that is bad. Right, let's quickly just do that because I know what I've done. Um, la, nope. Basalt. La, that is dust. I need marble. I know what I've done. Don't you worry. Right, what? I've, I've got nothing in there. Nothing in there. Oh, wait, what? Have I not got any in these? Right, so marble. There we go. I actually forgot to set these up then. <laughs> That's what I've done. 
so that is cobble, yes. This is gravel, and I've put that there. Okay, cool. And I thought I'd done this, and apparently, apparently I really haven't. So, right, let's do that there. There we go. Oh, look at that. Um. No, okay, well that is weird. There we go, so we're getting that in now. Well, I don't know what's gone on there. So it's it's it seems like I started this process, and then there we go. Uh, and then it, it sort of, I don't know, stopped for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know, but this is, this is all going in here now. That is empty, that is empty. So this is marble. So that I've done that already. There we go. And that needs to be this. There we go. Phew, that is a lot better. That is a lot better because obviously... So we've got about 7,000 of each of these in there uh, to begin with. But, um, I mean, yeah, this is going up fast. This is fast. Look at all that. So we're going to, I'm guessing, get a lot of forestry stuff as well. Which is all right. Not too bad. But um, all of this stuff should be going up, which is rather nice. Now, the only thing I don't know is... I don't know if you get any quartz... I sort of think you might not get any quartz in um, the aroma dimension, but I'm I'm not sure. I've not added uh, black quartz to that. I've not added any of the surtis quartz stuff, so I don't know. We, we can always amend it if we need to. But um, that is a pretty epic, like, quarry at the moment, and it's so epic I need to now make some more of these um, to keep up with everything. So there we go. That was rather great. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, if I'm honest, just to get all of that working. But it is working, so that is grand. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, a like or comment is very much appreciated, as is subscribing to the channel if you fancy it. I've been Hector, this has been Stonelock, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.